it's a bit low this end and I keep banging my head but you'll have to excuse that and I've also banged it and took a big bloody chunk out any road up what's this little vlogger only about the vlog today is called piggyback fermentation it's a name I've made up but I think it'll be quite good now my last video or the video before the video I showed you how I uh, cleaned and uh, well I guess clean not particularly sanitized at that stage however I have made a brew and I have started to ferment it and it's in my fermentation fridge and that's it and what I'm going to do I'm going to rack it into this and replace that with my cube stuff at the bottom that I made yesterday I always use the cubes I never sort of uh, cool it down with the old what's it the curly whirly thing because it's hard work <laughs> I don't like a lot of hard work you have to wash it and clean it and sanitize it whatever I don't like doing that so I always use the uh, cube so uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to whack a bit of uh, star sun in some water into this give it a swill out and uh, Look and learn. <laughs> Put some star sun. There we are. Give it a good swirl about for a few seconds. And then I'm going to refill my bottle up. So, whack that on the floor. Take my tube out. Stick that on the end there, and reuse my star sign. I've also got me my airlock. So once this is empty, we'll be. Doing a bit of transferring piggyback style. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm all star sand up. Oops, got a walk washing again. Yeah, so I'm all star sand up, so I'm gonna do a bit of piggybacking and take the cube out. Let me brew yesterday. Dog that one in. And dog that into the secondary, making sure we don't get any uh, too much air in there. So, we're just going to get the last drags out around. Being careful not to put too much yeast in there again. I think that's about all I'm going to get out, to be honest. Okay, right now to put that on the top. So now I'm going to whack this bale into the yeast bed on there with a bit of a splash. Making sure, of course, the tap is uh, switched off on the bottom. So give this a good wash out and uh, away we go again. Right, that on the top. Right, 
Not through there. And we're ready to ferment. Okay, uh, to summarise, uh, fellow brew tubers, I whacked the um, the the beer that I made into, as you see on the last bit, into the uh, fermenter uh, with the that had already emptied and left all the bloody yeast and what's it and a bit mucky around the top, etc. Whacked it in, and then uh, you know. Got it in the right temperature, around right, 20 degrees in the in the old fridge. What's it? The fermenting fridge, because I'm posh here. And uh, yeah, and and uh, it finished off. Finished off really, uh, really well actually. Uh, I whacked it into the keg. I put a bit of gelatine in with it uh, because I'm doing cubes. I generally put a bit of gelatine in there to to make it nice and clear and all that. And uh, I whacked a few pints down to test it. Um, obviously, it's excellent because uh, it's what I've made basically, and uh, that's it really. The 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 end of the the vlog. Um, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm just going to add uh, another bit at the end, uh, showing you what I'm going to do for the next vlog. And all that. And you rode up. Uh, stand by, and I'll whack this on. Like I've got my gym jams on. These are not my gym jams. This is my best T-shirt. It's not my brewing T-shirt because uh, don't want to mix things. You know. Uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, the next vlog. Um, a very good uh, brew tuber friend uh, on Facebook uh, as as kindly, uh, this is David Carr, he's, he's kindly sent me um, um, a, a spyglass thingy that I can put on the side of me, what's it, on, on the side of me uh, HLT, you know, like a tube. You know I've got like um, a rubber, what's it, um, a, a nose pipe thingy that you can look through, it's not very clear. So David has kindly looked at me and, and felt sorry for me and thought, yeah, he needs a clear tube. Uh, and he sent us an attachment, a, a bendy thing to, to fit in the inside and all of that. So I've got to drill all that out. And so I'm going to do a vlog on that. So thanks, uh, David. That'll be the next, um, the next uh, vlog, what's it? So uh, that'll be fun. I've got to find out how to drill an hole in me uh, in me HLT. So yeah. So if you want specialised uh, technical tips on how to drill uh, or make an hole in your HLT, uh, Google it and go somewhere else. Or failing that, if you're really desperate, uh, watch next uh, next. I don't know whether it'll be next week or the week after, you never know. I'm very, very slow at uh, whacking the old uh, videos of late. I've gotten a few bollockings off fellow brew tubers, but it can't be helped. I've, I've, I've had enough ups and downs and that, but I'm, I'm hoping to, you know, keep bringing them out, even if it's once a month, like, you know, because that's what I'm like. Any road up, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down or on the comments and whatever and uh, I'll see you next vlog uh, whenever that may be but remember it's a technical one so you don't want to miss it any road up bye for now and cheers <laughs>